hello hello everyone welcome back to the maternity diary before you continue if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do so now 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 and to all my returning subscribers thank you so much you are appreciated so today i'm excited to share this beautiful wonderful experience that i had over the weekend and is the cultural uh oh is the cochrane cultural fest and really i'm really excited to share a little bit of my Ghanaian heritage with you i had the honor of setting up a booth to showcase the rich culture beautiful crafts and delicious yamilicious ghana proper ghana jollof rice with some sobolo from ghana yeah. yeah, it's gold, pure gold. So, we did bring a taste of Ghana to Cochrane. And it was such a joy to see people from different backgrounds stopping by to learn about the Ghanaian history and culture. And I had my five-year-old being the videographer at some point. So yeah you will see the cameras going up and down at some point it was him <laughs> we got the chance to share some amazing conversations uh, about the vibrant traditions the meaning behind the symbols and of course the colors and patterns that make Ghanaian culture so unique before i continue i want to give a big shout out to Jennifer in Calgary for lending me most of these beautiful items that you see on my table. Also to say a big thank you to the Ghanaian um, Canadian Association of Calgary for also lending me these beautiful drums and a few artifacts as well. I am so, so grateful. And then last but not the least, I need to thank my two beautiful friends, Deborah and Martha, for joining me on this, <laughs> this quest or this journey of representing Ghana. It wasn't easy. I don't know how they said yes to me, but they did say yes to me and we were able to blast through. We have the Minister of Immigration and multiculturalism visit our booth and he got the chance to touch some gold and to drink some sobolo eat some jollof rice and it was incredibly amazing we had people visiting our booth multiple times because yum uh, the jollof was like mm -hmm, top notch the sobolo i cannot say it enough mm, yum yummy 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 <laughs> It was so yummy, the best sobolo you would ever taste. And I will put the contact of um, the amazing vendor for this sobolo in my description if you want to order. One of the highlights of the day was getting to perform and everyone that knows me knows that oh my god i don't like to dance in public um, maybe i guess it's because i'm a horrible dancer maybe <laughs> most likely i mean if you see me dancing in public it's just because maybe i'm just nodding my head 
moving my shoulders and that is it but to actually do dances no so this was such a huge feat for me and i thanks to deborah and martha i can't thank you enough without you guys i couldn't have done this <laughs> So in Ghana, music and dance are woven into the fabric of our celebrations. So what we wanted to do was to bring that same energy and joy to the festival. So, as you can see, we had a blast performing these combination of traditional dances. The rhythm, the movements, the connection with the audience. It was all about bringing the heartbeat of Ghana to Cochrane. And really, it felt amazing to share this experience with everyone and feel that cultural heritage. <laughs> So it was amazing and if not for philippines bringing that jeepney i'm sure we would have won but before i i jump off i need to give a big shout out to my wonderful sister country nigeria who brought their a game oh my god they brought their a game they had this yummy puff puff oh my god it was so yummy it was so good well done well done well done and also jamaica brought some amazing jerk chicken gosh i ate and ate and ate it was so yummy <laughs> thanks yeah so the cochrane cultural fest was such a wonderful opportunity to connect with people to represent my roots and to share the beauty of ghana with a broader community and yeah thanks to everyone that stopped by my booth joined in the fun or supported throughout the day it was incredibly amazing but it was so exhausting i look forward to the next festival and maybe i'll probably just be <laughs> i'll just go look at someone else's booth and not be a part but it was incredibly amazing and i'm grateful for this opportunity thanks for watching if you have watched to this point please tell me where you are where do you live and what is your bad country because it's amazing to see how many people maybe were born in ghana but they live in jamaica or they live in the netherlands let me know the country you're from and where you live and you can tell me amazing things tell me amazing stories around yeah your culture okay so until next time, don't forget to stay happy, stay healthy, and stay beautiful.
Thank you.